Hello and the welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the freeform tool in the SolidWorks surface. Freeform tool adds a deformed surface to a planner or the non-planner face by the pushing and the pulling action of the selected point. This point is selected here and the, by pushing and the pulling, it's deforming the selected surface as shown. And here are different options available in the pushing and the pulling action. Let's see how it works. Now go to a file and create a new file. What file? Let's change the background to plain white and select any point. I am selecting the front plane. And here front plane, select a center rectangle or you can create the any planner face. Let's provide the dimension 50 and 100. Okay, this is the rectangle and go to surface to create the planner face it will create the planner face within the selected sketch now this face we are going to create the deformation that is using the freeform select the freeform tool and it's asking to select your face to deform this face we are going to deform and you will see the grids here now here are two options available for the symmetry the direction one symmetry in one direction and symmetry in the perpendicular direction of the first and the control curves there are two types of the control types that control through points and control through the polygon now you can add the curves and you can add the points from where you want to start the deformation and there are two types of the coordinate system and let's select the direction one and try to add the curve now now you can see the two lines here this green line and this line by selecting the direction one symmetry or you can flip the direction from here and it will and if you select this and it will create the curve in the symmetry in the second direction now let's add a curve here anywhere let's here in the center now press escape and select this curve and you will get the point here now by pushing in the pulling option of this curve you can deform the body now you can select this point also to create the deformation in this way the freeform tool works and there are two types of the coordinate system natural and user defined and this is the original natural coordinate system and if you want user defined and it will ask to modify the type of the coordinate system if you click ok there is the adjuster is available select this adjuster you can rotate the grid angle as your desired at your desired angle and this is the user defined type of coordinate system now we are going to, through the natural type click ok now we are revert back to the original coordinate system now here are the face transparency now first of all let's add the curve here now there is a curve now you can add the points in this curves now the points are added and there are two types of the control control through points mean these points if you select the control polygon and these points are connected by the line that's the difference between the now let's see by deforming these points Now you can see the line between the connected points in this way it will deform the selected points the lines are connected between these points or you can change the position and the deformation by the application of the by the application of the amount that is in this direction 
let's say if it is 1 and see the change in the preview and let's change it to 10 now the in the above direction it goes to 10 and let's change it to 2 now the deformation is according to our input value now you can change the face transparency that is deformation transparency you can see the change in the transparency of the deform part now you, if you want to change the mesh density you can increase or decrease the amount of the mesh density as your requirement now these are the display styles zebra strips and if you want to change the display like this curvature comb you can change their density and the scale now let's increase the scale you can see the change in the comb scale now if you want to increase the density and the, the comb will be in the closer if you increase the density and if you decrease they go apart in this way you can clear the deformation using the freeform tool i hope you learned something from this please subscribe our channel for the more videos in the next videos we will try the other options available in the solar surface thank you for your time stay with us bye bye for now